Okay, so now we're gonna be triggering every single blockbuster fandom. Now, I saw a video like this, but triggering NBA superstars. And I wanted to try this out, and I didn't really know how to do it, and this seemed like the best option. Plus, there's a lot of people I can trigger with this video. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Star Trek. You like pretending like you're actually different because you like a blockbuster franchise that isn't really insanely popular like Star Wars. But the thing is, we need to remind you that it doesn't really make you special at all. Especially when Star Trek probably has the same amount of consistency as Star Wars. It doesn't matter what you think or how you describe it. Star Trek has just as many bad movies, maybe even more, than Star Wars does. At least Star Wars has Empire Strikes Back. What does Star Trek have? A couple pretty great movies, a couple pretty good movies, and nothing else. Star Trek doesn't have a masterpiece like Star Wars. So shut your mouth, it's not nearly as good. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is the perfect example of a blockbuster franchise that just wouldn't stop going and continuing even though we wanted it to stop the first time around. It should have just been a one-off movie and I can't believe they made five sequels out of this. I have not seen Dominion, but it's probably just as terrible as the other two sequels that we got from this or whatever the heck you want to call them. Reboots, remakes, I don't know. I hate this franchise and I don't understand how you could even be a fan of it. Unless you want to watch dumb dinosaurs blow things up for like 20 minutes or so and hear people scream and generic jump scares, this is your perfect franchise. But beyond that, for people that actually want good and decent entertainment, I have no idea why you would continue watching this franchise or continue to be a fan of it in any way, shape, or form. It should have just stopped. Same with Jaws. Steven Spielberg, for some reason, created two horrendous franchises, and while the first two movies were great, they just were ended up just making terrible franchises and i have no idea why they just didn't stop star wars star wars is only insanely well known above other franchises is because of its original trilogy and everything else that came after it was either good or mediocre or sometimes god awful some people like to say and pretend that they like the prequels, but let's be honest, nobody likes those movies unless you're completely nostalgibated and are blinded by that and nothing else more than that. People say Revenge of the Sith is the good one, but it's just less bad than the other two. It's still terrible in almost every single aspect, and it's not a good movie. I don't understand why anyone in any shape or form would like it at all. Then you get to the sequels, which while Last Jedi is great, it doesn't fit in with the story, and Force Awakens is mostly just a copycat of New Hope when you go down to the basic story structure. When it comes down to Star Wars, it's not really that great as people say it is. It's just a franchise that lives off of its first three movies that were really great, and that's it. No one else likes the rest of the franchise. Everyone kind of hates it, and The Rise of Skywalker was an absolute disgrace of a conclusion. This franchise was dragged out way too long, and I feel like it should have just ended with the first three movies because everyone would have been satisfied. You could expand with this world, but everyone just goes back to the same thing with the Skywalkers, and it gets annoying. And when they do try to expand, people don't really seem to like it as much. I have not seen the Boba Fett Disney Plus series, and I don't plan to because it probably is terrible, just like the rise of skywalker i don't care about this franchise anymore and i'm so glad that it's over because now i don't have to watch any more movies the dcu the dcu is basically just dc seeing what the mcu did and saying oh we can do that except we're gonna make it darker and way edgier and more annoying in almost every way it has the consistency level of star wars and that's probably the biggest insult you could possibly give to this franchise it's so dark and edgy that it gets just annoying at points Oh, well, did you want to see Superman, you know, be dark and edgy? No, no one wants to see that garbage. What are you trying to do here? It's disgusting. And then, oh, yeah, you see Batman, but he's extra edgy this time. That's the whole point of this entire DCU franchise is to make things extra edgy. And when they try lighthearted stuff, it just becomes, you know, annoying and very MCU-ish. And it doesn't really feel you know, good at all. Of course the DC fanboys and Snyder stands are gonna eat all this stuff up, for, but for people that want actually good entertainment, this stuff isn't really cutting it. The Fast and Furious franchise is the equivalent of Hot Wheels smashing into each other. There's absolutely zero substance in these movies, and anyone that says otherwise has clearly never watched these movies ever. 
it's a clearly just a disgrace to the film industry as a whole because these movies are just dumb CGI action scenes where you can find that in any movie ever and for some reason they're more successful than movies with actual effort put into it. The, the emotional scenes are embarrassingly terrible in almost any way shape or form and I don't understand why anyone would like these or watch these movies. If you want to see dumb action scenes you can watch any other franchise and this one isn't really that special. It's just kind of popular for doing that or whatever. They're just some just stupid movies and if you want action scenes you could watch you know a action movie that has you know substance and care put into it besides these ugly CGI scenes that are just gross to watch. I don't understand why anyone would like this franchise and if you do I just I don't understand you. I really don't. X-Men. Most people that are fans of this franchise are Marvel comic readers that don't really like the MCU very much and think that this is better because it was one of the starters for comic book movies and just can't shut up about Logan being the best comic book movie ever made because they want to have an edgy take and not admit that the Dark Knight is the greatest even though it is. So why are we having this debate in the first place? Logan is one of the most overrated comic book movies ever, and no one seems to ever admit that and think, oh, it's so great because of the themes, even though the plot in it completely sucks. And everything else beyond that, besides X-Men Days of Future Past and Deadpool, are just either subpar or terrible. X-Men Dark Phoenix is a disaster, and X-Men 3 The Last Stand is also a terrible movie. It feels like it's a franchise with the very bad movies, but it doesn't have any great ones like Star Wars or the MCU. At least Star Wars has Empire. What does X-Men have? Nothing really. It's just a very subpar franchise that while having a couple good stuff in it is overall just mediocre at best. It's not as good as the MCU, even as much as edgy Marvel fans would want it to be. Now I'm sick of talking about Marvel, so I'm just going to say one thing that I know will make MCU fans trigger. Everything that you guys have had recently has been mediocre, and right now DC is better than you.